Get ready for a chilling tale from one of California's most haunted spots, Cobb Estate. This isn't your average ghostly mansion tale. The house was demolished years ago, leaving behind a haunted forest filled with eerie legends and mysteries. The history of Cobb Estate is a rich tapestry of failed gold mines, lumber barons, Freemasons, nuns, the Marx Brothers, and more. Charles Cobb, a retired lumber tycoon, bought the land after a failed gold mining operation, making the investors part of the bust in California or bust. Despite the Gilded Age's end, Cobb built a mansion worthy of the era on the land in 1918. The lavish home, complete with rare hardwoods and air conditioning, overlooked the Pacific Ocean, reflecting the wealth and status of its owner. Cobb was deeply involved with the Freemasons, even serving as the Knight Commander at the Scottish Rite Cathedral of Pasadena. Upon his death in 1939, he left the estate to the cathedral, making it a Masonic retirement home. In 1942, the Freemasons handed the Cobb estate to the Sisters of St. Joseph of Orange, the estate served as a retreat house for the nuns, offering them a place to unwind. However, urban legends tell a chilling tale of a nun's tragic fate at the hands of satanic worshippers. The Marx Brothers, famous comedians of the time, bought the estate in 1956. The buildings were in a state of disrepair, leading to their demolition. Their plan to build a cemetery was met with resistance from the locals, who feared a haunted cemetery more than a haunted forest. Reports of strange happenings in the forest date back to the mid-1800s. These include sightings of bizarre blue lights and ghostly apparitions. While the Cobbs never reported any supernatural experiences, others have shared their eerie encounters. In 1971, students from John Muir High School's Conservation Club raised funds to buy the land when it was put up for auction. A bidding war ensued, but the community's support for the students led to the developer backing down preserving the land as a park. Visitors to Cobb Estate report seeing strange blue lights in the forest after dark. Some believe these lights are evidence of extraterrestrial visits, while others liken them to will-o'-the-wisps from folklore. The forest is also home to other supernatural phenomena. Visitors have reported hearing eerie screams, seeing ghostly figures, and feeling an unsettling sensation of being watched. Ghost hunters have visited Cobb Estate using equipment to detect electromagnetic spikes. They believe these spikes indicate paranormal activity and even claim to have communicated with ghosts using this method. Gravity Hill is another location shrouded in mystery. Legend tells of a school bus or a teenage joyride ending in tragedy. The ghosts of the victims are believed to push vehicles uphill, defying gravity. This peculiar phenomenon was first observed on a dusty car that, upon reaching the hilltop, revealed handprints on its surface as if nudged by an unseen force. Adding to the estate's eerie reputation, multiple bodies have been found on the hiking trails. Despite the trails being well used, the bodies are often in advanced states of decomposition, suggesting they have been there for months. While many firmly believe the forest is haunted, skeptics suggest the strange occurrences could be explained by natural phenomena. Regardless, the eerie tales haven't stopped people from enjoying the hiking trails or hoping for their own hair-raising encounter. If you like this video, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and learn more about how we enhance history.